morning how are we all doing then wonky's back uh, and welcome back everybody to another installment of the glorious mrs win princess duration whatever we're going to call it so hang on where have we been well i haven't done much on the car i've done a bit not a lot uh, over the last couple of weeks so i've been busy with work and done a couple of gigs with the band and all that which are pretty good all good fun but yeah weather's turning against me now anyway and it has done for the last couple of weeks um work commitments have now increased because of the christmas rush and all that and uh by the time i get home it's getting now getting dark and i'll knackered basically and i don't want to do anything when i get home now i'm getting too old for this um so basically over the weekend i've not done much on the car because it's either been raining or i've just been too tired working long hours and stuff um a couple of weeks ago i acquired um bought some um what do you call it <sighs> um this stuff stone chip from work um i ordered some from work and i was able to get underneath mrs win one weekend flip you around and get underneath and give her all a good dosing under here fuel tank out and all that all been nicely coated uh, I did repair this rear panel under here there was a couple of holes uh, down here they've all now been repaired and I'm quite happy with those I'm satisfied with that uh, underneath so we've all been coated to halfway down the car uh, basically it's a little bit low for me to get under there because I've had me front suspension units off and everything my suspension units got sent away to hydro gas services to be uh, regassed thank you very much to ian and dawn for the speedy service there they'd done them really really quick they'd done them within a week for me because they put them on test uh the problem was i just didn't have the time and i wasn't positioned with work to get back over there to go and fetch them again so they had them a lot longer than um certainly not what i planned for what they planned for it was just a case of circumstance i couldn't get over there to go and fetch them again so um i went and fetched them the other week and they've been sat in my conservatory for a couple of, couple of weeks now so I've, I've just like not had the time to do anything so i've got the units back now um, flip you around again i'm a bit shaky this morning i was out on the out on a stag do last night so i do apologize i'm a bit worse for wear this morning shouldn't really be doing this but i'm just trying to get motivated to do some work so here's my units back that's the rears and there's the obviously there's the fronts there so i'm going to put the fronts back in now um because as you can see we're balancing a bit <laughs> precariously and i don't want it here too long so basically she has got some scabby uh under sail under here which i'm a nay worried about because later on wow there's my torch i've been looking for that <laughs> anyway there was a, i'm not too worried about this because i'm going to get round to doing the front a bit later on all i want to do today really is just get these front wheels back on um and start rebuilding the rear end as well so i can get this old girl back on her wheels so i can move her around again now because now i want to start concentrating on the front um even if i leave her in this position for the time being uh, at least i'll be able to get her up on the ramps and get her jacked up properly probably move her forward on the drive a little bit so i've got some more um just a bit something a bit more solid to work with basically and then i can concentrate and get all this lot scraped off under sealed and luckily my wheel arches on the front are really really good so i've not got to do too much in the way of body work and spraying and that kind of thing um and then later on we'll get the car turned around that'll be in the next video or probably next year and i don't know and we'll get this body work properly sorted out and color coded because when i've done the repair on this wheel arch 
uh, which was before I actually started taking any videos. I only did it with a rattle can, and it's I, I can I can see the difference in the in the colour. Um, doesn't show up much, but yeah, I can see it, and I'm sure now the sun's getting on it, you'll be able to see that the lower half is different to the lower half on the door there. Uh, so yeah, I'm. I think I did mention this before that I'm probably going to do a, a lower half respray but for the time being I think I'm just going to leave it with the rattle can condition for now and probably do the, the spraying probably next year in the summer because uh, I'm still battling leaves falling off trees and things like that and seeds are still getting everywhere uh, it took a, took a long time actually this year to to shed the leaves um, normally it's a couple of weeks and they're all gone but this year they've, they've hang on to the leaves and the seeds a bit so and it's a bit windy today and it's a bit there uh, it's going a bit cloudy so I don't know how long I've got work wise today um, so that's where I am at the minute with it so today what I'll be doing is just putting them front units back on and getting the front wheels back on uh, and get it off the <laughs> bricks basically <laughs> um, what I need to do as well is make some new brake pipes uh, on the Princess they are separated halfway down the car so you, you, your metal part of the pipe is in two halves it comes from the front down underneath the car and then it's separated with the joint the brake pipes at the back here weren't that good and I weren't, weren't too sure whether I was going to use them again or, or what so I just took them off and it gave me a good excuse to get under there and once I'd done all the, the stone chip and stuff they, they weren't in the way and I'd, I'd rather not if I'm going to take this car for MOT I don't want brake pipes covered up with you know under seal and things like that because nine times out of ten if an, if an MOT tester sees that they won't pass the car because they can't see the brake pipes so you really want good polished brake i could have masked them up but they looked a bit rusty anyway so let's just get them off so i've got some new brake pipes to make up um and then i can go ahead and then fit all the cross tube and get the rear of the car all put back together i've got the where am i i've got the uh these to restore paint up and whatnot these are the original ones off the car it's just that again i haven't had time to get anything done really so i'm a bit disappointed with myself kind of um so yeah that's where we are uh white ambassador i've not put her away this year uh simply because um i wanted to keep her out the garage uh because i'd still wanted to keep her in a little bit of use but she's um she was part of me uh halloween display oh she's locked up but we had lights in there with some gory masks and stuff so it was good for that for the halloween thing it was good so that's her still in there but she's going to be used in the next couple of weeks as a wedding car so I wanted to keep her out the garage and just keep her running and it gives me an excuse as well to keep her pretty clean as well because uh, when she's in the garage she gets covered in crap and then as per usual with any Leyland car if you lay them up for any length of time things don't work uh, and she, this one's got a particular problem with the carburettors and I've gone through all the new parts and everything like that it's nothing to do with e10 fuel i think it's just how it is with this car is that one car better keeps overflowing when it's been laid up for any length of time um i mean it's got all the proper pipe work on there to direct the fuel out the way but if she's left for any length of time for some reason she keeps doing this and i've had the carbs off numerous times put new parts in genuine su parts and I still get an overflowing carburetor with it. Um, but it only does that if it's been left for any length of time. But once you've had some fresh fuel in there and things like that, it stops doing it. So that was why this year, with me having to use it for a wedding, um, 
I've kept I've kept her out the garage basically just so I can keep her running and keep topping her up with some fresh fuel. Um, but like I said, I've not been out anywhere. So today is a, an, another day that I want to actually just take her out, get her out for the run for ten minutes. There may be a video on that later. I don't know. Probably not. So anyway, I hope everybody is well. Um, everybody's keeping fit and everybody's safe and having fun and all that and uh, so yeah that's me for the time being so I will magically do the pause button start doing some work and we'll see you in a bit whoops I got carried away and uh, ended up fitting all that and I didn't take any video of it so I'll have to do the other side <laughs> oh well anyway I'll just turn you around a little um yeah okay princesses normally have a, a rise diet on the front yeah you, when you pump the suspension up you pump it up to from the center of the the hub there to the center of your wheel arch there on the princess is set at around about 14 inches um i like to just bring it down slightly to around about 13 and a half inches simply because i think i like the way it sits especially on these wheels i mean they're quite they're quite wide i mean they don't stick out any more than a normal princess wheel i don't think maybe by half an inch or so but i just like the way that these sit on these wheels and i think they always look a let me try and i think i look better just slightly lowered um so yeah so i've got carried away and i've got all the wheel on and everything <laughs> before i've uh stop to take any video so what i might as well do is take some video of the other side so hang on a minute hang on there don't go away so here is my regassed unit as you can see there it's got the the valve on so that's all nicely filled up now to the correct pressure with nitrogen so that now goes into this little hole here um, they don't bolt into place or anything like that basically shoot it's just pressure from the system that holds it in place so I'm just gonna fit this in now put the uh, I'm gonna put the rubber rubber uh, cover on there um, but what I did do on the other side what I noticed was that in this void down here uh, some water had gotten in so I'm not sure how that's gotten in it may have been while I've left the car um, you know sort of uncovered but this one is dry there's a lot of bits obviously leaves get in there but this one's dry so i had to suck a load of water and it goes into this uh, lower suspension mount there for the for the lower track control arm uh, so i was a little bit concerned so but what i've done in, inside all here on the other side it's all been coated with a with a spray grease uh, and I'll do the same with this side while it's all off. Um, spray all, I mean, all this is going to come off again anyway. The when I come round to doing the the front part anyway, all this will come back off anyway. But I'll, obviously, I'll leave the suspension in place uh, because I want to do all the inner wheel arches again. I'll just scrape off all the all the cruddy stuff and um, linish all the. You know the surface rust none of it's rot or anything it's just surface rust and while i'm doing the restoration i might as well get everything underneath looking pretty as well um so yeah bear with me i'm just going to put this unit in and get all in there coated up and i'll hit the pause button and i'll be back in a little bit see you in a while well, actually, no, because it's all part of the same video. And <laughs> um, with the miracle of time, albeit two minutes, uh, there is the unit in place in its aperture. And as you can see, that's some lovely sticky liquid grease. It's it's more of a motorcycle chain lube. Uh, so it goes in, sprays on like water, and then dries really, really, really sticky. And after a while, it does actually go as thick as normal grease. Um, so it doesn't fly off anywhere. It's it's mainly for motorcycle chains uh, But it's also good at keeping water out and things like that. So yeah, that's in place now. I've got the uh, pipe 
connected up albeit not very tight it's just finger tight at the moment just because I need to if I need to move the unit around to to get the lower to get the upper sorry the upper control arm back in place so bear with me for a sec and uh, back in a bit so that's the that's the upper control track uh, track control arm in place um, all I'm left to do now is to put the pivot bolt in which is done from the inside of the car so let's go and do that now so we're inside the footwell uh, not sure how much of this you can see but that hole there is where this bolt goes through and so let's get that in place and I'll show you then on the other side where it put the nut on. as you can see uh, it's not fully home just yet uh, need to just get it lined up because that uh, that square end there sits in that part there uh, once I've pulled push that all the way through I just need to go and line up the other side and then we can push it all the way in then and there we are we through took a little bit of jiggery pokery and a bit of lining up uh, but there we are we through so I can now get the nut on there and I shall get a jack underneath the hub and preset the ride height to around about 13 and a half 14 inches around about 13 and a half inches like I'd like to set them and that sets the preload on the internal bushes here so once you've got your ride height set you set your preload to what the ride height would be um, that way you're not putting any stress or twisting on the on the uh, internal bushes there um, a lot of mistakes that people do make with these is they don't set the preload and what they do so they would basically once all the bump stops on uh, and basically just bolt that in place as to where it is without without checking it um, that causes these cars to sit very awkward i.e. either nose up and you know the back ends looks like it's uh, it, it's full of concrete or they'll sit really high up on the back end if if none of the preloads are set so basically you, you set the preload before you pump in, pump, pump the suspension up or let it down off the jack and or anything like that um, so yeah it's a com it's a common mistake people make with the hydro gas cars is they forget that you know with everything obviously the, once people get the suspension off they put it up on the jack and every everything's just left hanging there um, on the either on the rebound straps or on on the the bump stops there and they whack everything up tighten everything up and then basically when they let it off the jack to pump the suspension up those into them bushes on the the swivels that they're, they're already twisted um and it, it it i've i've found when when i've done it wrong in the past which you know we've all done it we all make mistakes uh it especially on the rears it causes a lot of stress on the uh, tube mount as well and you usually find that you'll bang a new tube mount on because they do go pretty quick um, and then you'll be putting another one on and you don't set the preload and basically all the stress is all then on the rubbers and it usually just tears them straight off so uh, yeah it's very important so it's one thing really to point out with the hydro gas car is set the preload first and then you can pump it up and what have you oh so, yeah so, back in. so there's my desired ride height of 13 and a half inches taken from the center of the drive shaft there and as you can see there that's 13 and a half inches not correct to the manual but this is how i want it set it's only half inch um, lower than normal uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get shouted at you can't do it this way you can't do it that. that's how I'm doing it like it a lump it right then okay so now I can get the um, 
we can get the bump stop plate bolted up into place and bang the wheel back on and that's it it really um now i've got the of the side of the pre-height pre set i've already took the liberty of um, tightening my nuts up you don't want to see people tightening nuts up you all know how to do it you don't need a video of that do you so anyway right and out the way you'd have thought by now that um my boss ricky would have bought me a gimbal by now to make all this much easier for me but he still hasn't but there you go he doesn't want to invest into his um employees such a shame well that went a bit wrong so anyway i'm sent here's me trying to send all my videos off to ricky and i thought where's my ending gone i hadn't done it well i had i didn't press record and all i, all I did get was me pulling funny faces at, uh, at my camera so didn't even met the uh, outtakes, it didn't even worth it. So, anyway, that's the Princess back on its front wheels as such. Um, I can now move forward now and get on with the... restoring the rear cross tube and the, the radius arms along with the brakes so I can get that put back together. Um, obviously, there will be a video about that, if I get it right, as per usual. Um, so that's it for now. I'm actually, this is actually a couple of days later and I'm now on my way to work. So, uh, and stuck in traffic. That's the way it goes. So, right. Um, sorry it's been so long. Um, you know, doing another update on the car. It's, uh, it's just a case of I, I steamrolled ahead with the, with the stone chip and I didn't bother doing a video and it was one of them I, I could have recorded that but I didn't so I do apologize um, hopefully the way the weather's going so far it's at the moment it's not too bad it's pretty warm hopefully it'll stay dry for next weekend um, and I can get a little bit more done get some more footage for you all to have a look at um, and hopefully sometime soon we'll, we'll have her back on the road um, it might be before Christmas, I really hope it is. I really hope I can steamroller ahead with it. Um, but, but if it ain't, it's, it, it, it's no big deal. Next year's going to be fine. So, um, so that's it for now. So thank you very good for... Thank you for that. Thank you. See, I'm getting this totally wrong. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, as usual, you know, like and subscribe and all that stuff. And uh, keep a lookout and for more updates and things like that and hopefully me and Ricky will be getting together pretty soon to do some work on Agatha um, I'm just waiting for his phone call to say come and do it Ricky on with it lad right have a good day people um, see you soon cheerio